be blessed by the divine. We have been seeing the different uh, influences of body, mind, with biomedicine, their relationship. And in that series, today, we'll be looking into life force and its impact on the body, biomedicine, the relationship between life force and biomedicine, how they are linked together is what we'll be seeing today. As we saw in the previous session, we closed it at the point, what can we do to increase the water level in this container? Did you guys uh, thought over it? Do you guys have any idea, any suggestion? Uh, finding the obstacle. Finding the obstacle Which is and making it. Uh, emotional. Uh, that is with respect to, okay. So we were looking at strategies of in the container, if the water is flowing, what can we do to increase the level in the container? Okay, in that aspect, we are looking at the steps. Okay. We can reduce the water flow. We can reduce the um, prevent the leakage and then we will save it. But if you want to rapidly increase, we should do something uh, even effectively. Right? So in that aspect, we are going to see what can we do which will rapidly increase the level thing. Or if you take a much simpler analogy, Life force is what we are going to understand today. Okay, let's understand what that word means. All right. So let's do a small experiment. I'm going to uh, teach you one uh, secret mantra. Okay. If you have a pen or pencil or something which is closer to uh, pen or pencil or something, it can easily move. Let's keep it next to you. And we are going to try to move this thing. Okay. Let's see, it's going to be like this. On a flat surface next to you, just keep the keep a pen or pencil. Let's see. We can if we can move that pencil. Are you ready for doing this experiment? Let me know. Once you are ready, we'll uh, start with our experiment. Okay, I'm going to secret. Uh, do you understand what we are going to do? Going to keep a pen next to us, but without touching, we need to make it move. All right, this is what we are going to do. Right? Okay, don't touch it, but keep your palms a little above it, but don't move it. Like close your eyes and just keep pushing like this and just repeat what I say. Right? The same, cream, cream, him. Okay, and keep saying that and make a move towards the object. Him, cream, Sorry, Kati, cream. Sorry, can't see the video. Uh, how you are showing that? It has to be like this. Okay, 
have an object and just say he green new and like this and see if it is moving we should not touch it but from the little file it should do like this is that green clean green yeah, yeah. Can you type it, Karthik? Actually, we are not able to get. Just it. listen. Just listen properly. Cream. H. K. Cream. 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 And keep uh, doing it. Is it cream? Cream. Cream. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just keep pushing it, and then think. Think in the center of your palms, and then slightly. You should not touch it. You should be away from it. Okay, but just without touching, without applying any force, you should make a move. Is it moving? No, Karthik. <laughs> It will not move. It will not move. No. <laughs> it will not move because according to laws of physics, for any body to move, there needs to be a force applied on it. Okay? Unless a force is applied on the body, any body will continue to stay in the same place or in the same motion, whatever it is doing. Right? This is universal law. Everything in this universe obeys this law. Everything in this universe obeys this law which is everybody continues to be in the same state of motion. Okay? So that entity is called, that makes it move is called force. If it is applied from externally, we call it as force. If it emerges from within, we call it as energy. But where does this force comes from? To push this pen, I'm applying the energy which is stored in me to make it move. Where did I got my energy from? From the food I consumed. Let's say by eating an apple, I got some energy. Where does that apple tree got its energy from? Like photosynthesis. Where did sun got its energy from? By nuclear fusion reaction. A nuclear fusion reaction. In that nucleus, between the atoms, what is binding them together? So there is some force acting there. Where did that force come from? Right. What they say is, fundamentally, that force is universal. Right. It gets converted into from one form to the other form. But essentially, there is only a single force. And that is constitutes of the fundamental reason for all movements in this universe. And when that force is moving, whatever constitutes that force, around it, there will be a small field. 
that field is what we call as magnetic field. Imagine about a waterfall. As if you've been to Niagara, above the waterfall, the water will be flowing in a very high, fast current. As it flows and falls down, around it, some of them get spilled, forming a field around it. Like this mist around it. That field it's a combination of the force of water and the space around it. Similarly, even at the micro level and the nano level, minimized level, when the fundamental forces there around it, there will be a field. And that field is what we call as magnetic field. And the same, that force and the same magnetic field is also what is required in the cells. Remember, we saw that the role of each cell in the body is to get, move the input and from there, observe the energy and then excrete the output. This is all work being done. Everything is getting moved. For making that movement, some work has to be done. That force, that is fundamental to everything. And it is stored in a particular way. And that is what we observe as we consume our, absorb into our body as we consume the food. Right? So where is this coming to? So we understand, we understood what is force and how it is related with the field, magnetic field. There is the other part in front of it, which is life force. Let's try to understand what is that means. All right, let's understand this. What is this? Object. A small object. Small object. What does it look like? It looks like a fruit to me. Maybe an apple. Fruit. Yeah. Apple. What is the difference between this apple and what you get in Safe? It, it is not a real fruit, it's it's plastic. What is the difference? It is not natural and doesn't have, you cannot eat it or consume it to. Uh, Let's see if I make a, nobody yeah, stops us from, nobody stops and stops us from eating a plastic apple. Okay. Or if I make, make a, a plastic, if I make another apple use of bee wax, that can be also be. Edible. I can make an apple cake made there up of no real life. ingredient. There is no life in that uh, plastic apple. What does that mean? There's no energy. Super, that's beautiful. There's energy, no energy is there everywhere. Right? We saw that energy is there everywhere in this universe. It does not contribute anything to us uh, in forms of energy, or it doesn't increase our energy, life energy. That's what you're trying to understand. There's, there's nothing stopping something from contributing anything with it, right? The question specifically is, one is a living thing, another is a non-living thing, right? When do we say something as a living thing? When they move. Well, robots move. When it breathes. Huh? <laughs> when their cells it... are active. Hmm? Cells are active. They have active cells. 
what does active sales mean? Yeah, you're coming to the right point. What does active sales mean? It has enzymes, soil, water, and uh, sunlight. It can able to extract the energy from food, and it will also have some biomagnetism running in it. Something which can extract energy from uh, other sources. That is the work most of the living beings do. But even we can do that artificially, right? You can uh, the engine can extract the energy from petrol and convert it into motion, car engine, isn't it? What, if you look into it, living beings have this ability to extract the energy assimilate it as part of it and then they also have the ability to replicate themselves which is called growing the ability to grow creating a copy of itself or reproduce that ability is one thing you need to living beings, right? And that is what we are trying to, this force, fundamental force, is also constitutes within us and essential for us to live. To live is to assimilate energy, assimilate the uh, Observe energy and send the waste out and have the ability to grow and create a copy. For that, for all this purpose, which is common in all the living beings, non living beings, that force, which is the part of the force which is fundamental for that, is what we are calling as life force and the field coming out of it the magnetic field since it is coming from a living organism we are calling it as biomagnetic force the biomagnetic field okay where is this life force we see that in the next session Okay, this is a very essential question. Be blessed by the divine. Thank you. Thank you.